Welcome to She Needs Grit. I'm your host, Samantha Varner, profit coach and founder of She Collective. I now run a successful coaching practice, and I'm here to share all that I've learned through my 14 plus years of experience in financial services, public relations, and profit coaching, so you can apply it to building or renovating your business. Profitable businesses are created with just four ingredients, grit, confidence, strategy, and simplicity. This podcast is a combination of conversations with gritty entrepreneurial women and no fluff ways to create profit in your business starting today. If you're ready, grab your caffeine and let's get started. Hi, good afternoon. It's Sam Varner, your host of She Needs Grit, and I am here because I'm so excited. We are wrapping up the end of the year, and I don't know about you, but this always makes me really excited about what's potentially to come, what I can change, what I can shift, and how I can do better. So I'm going to dive right in today. We are going to do a four-part series all around goal setting. Now, that might seem like a lot of homework and a little bit boring, and everybody talks about goal setting this time of year, and that's true, and there's a valid reason for it. We are all used to this marker on the calendar being the time where we want to set new goals, and I don't know about you, but maybe you're a New Year's resolution kind of person. If you are, that's okay. My question is, do you follow through? Do you still know what your New Year's resolutions were last year? Or are you just active in the making the list, right? Making the plan. There is science behind the idea that that plan, right? The thought and the plan and the writing down the goal actually creates the feeling of having achieved it, despite the fact we have done absolutely nothing in that way yet. And I think that's a really funny way to think about things. I want the hit of whatever it is, dopamine in the making the list and the enthusiasm of what my future self could achieve. But more importantly, I want to be that future self who looks back and has actually achieved those things. It's really important to me to do that. And every year I work towards getting better and better in my business, in my life of setting goals, following up with those goals and sticking to them. So Let's get started today. This is going to be the first part in our series all about goal setting. And the first thing we're going to talk about is really important, but it's not the fun part yet. It's not that list of new goals, okay? What it is, is I want you to reflect. Yep, it's the hard part. I want you to reflect backwards on what you've been doing with your time. And we're going to start by just auditing our time, not anything else, okay? I believe as a coach that the best thing I can do for my clients is to help them evaluate. Go back and assess what are they doing with their time? Is it productive? Is it creating the results that they're looking for? Is it honest when they say they've been spending six hours a day working on their business or two hours a day or one hour a day? There's not an amount of work time I'm looking for per client, okay? I'm not expecting like you have to do it full time and it has to look like this and that will generate the results. I actually believe that you can create whatever results you want to create in whatever time you want to create them in. Yeah, I know. Mind-blowing, right? But it's true. If you are dedicated and really, really aware of how you spend your time and are you spending your time on the things that create the best results, you will be able to achieve your goals in whatever time frame you decide to give it. So here's how I suggest you do this. I want you to audit your time. You're listening to this right now, the middle of December. I want you to really, really reflect and think about what have you spent your time doing this year? Go back through your calendar. How many people have you actually spoken to about your business? How many networking events have you gone to? How many speaking opportunities have you had? How many times have you gone live on social media? How many things have created business for you? Right? And that might look different for everybody. But I want you to go back and evaluate. And I want you to take a very, very honest, hard look at those numbers. 
because we often will tell ourselves that we are working way more than we are actually working. We might be sitting at a desk. We might be a wee bit distracted. We might be down the social media hole. All of those things can happen and it's fine, right? It is fine. It is what it is. An audit, the blissful part of an audit, you guys, of any kind is that it is merely data. It is in the past. It is unchangeable. We are just looking to see what it looks like right now. We do not need to judge ourselves on whether or not we did it right or whether it could have been better or we should have done more. When those thoughts creep into your mind, I want you to completely dismiss them. It doesn't matter. We are just looking for the facts. We are just looking for the information. So you've scrolled through, and this takes a little time, okay? I go back through my day timer. I go back through day timer. Wow, that's a really oldie statement. Go back through my paper planner. I go back through my Google calendar. I really look at what I spent my time doing and be really honest about whether or not, yes, my sheet over there says I'm supposed to engage with social media for 20 minutes before my posts go out every single day. Did I do that this year? No, I did not. I did not. Am I good at doing that? No, I am not. Sorry, guys. The coach doesn't always do it right either. But what I know is that I have created results this year and what I am mining for in this data of how I've spent my time is where has my time been the most productive? Where has my time actually generated financial results? You all know I am a profit coach and I so deeply believe that in order to have a business, you need to have revenue. You need to have profit. And we need to mine the data to determine how best we create that profit, either to replicate the results for next year or to better them. And I'm always for bettering them. So you sit down, you go through all of that. I want you to go through and say, okay, in this month, I did this amount of actions, whatever they are. And in the following three months after that, I got five clients. Okay, so let's go back. When did you meet those people? Where did you meet those people? Was it because you were on a podcast and they found you? Was it because you actually were active for a period of time in Instagram? Was it because you were out networking and people called you or did you call them? How did you approach them? What did you do? Did you have an offer that got more people in front of you? Did you have a referral partner that was fantastic about sharing people in their world that would be a great fit for you? And were they right? All of those pieces of information are so valuable because then what you can do is when we get to the end of this series and we talk about goal setting, you can set your goals based around fact based around the data you've created, not based around some pie in the sky theory of if I get on Instagram and I do 20 minutes of engagement beforehand, I'm going to get great results. That may indeed be true, but I can guarantee you I don't do it often enough to even have an idea. So arguably, it is not yet true in my business. And that's fine. I can decide when I'm setting my goals and the tactics that follow those goals if I'm going to try implementing that or not. And either way is fine, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is audit your time. So you've looked at all the things that you've done in the past and what has led to business. That's really important. Then I want you to audit what the time you spend externally to your business is. So maybe you're somebody who wants to be working out consistently. Maybe you are somebody who does work out consistently and you know that five days a week in the middle of the day, you're going to go for a walk with your dog. That is an important part of your time. So that hour or whatever it looks like for you gets eliminated from the, it has no other job. It has the job of doing that activity. You know that you've got School pickup, you've got kids in preschool. So you know that your kids are finished at 2 p.m. I have a client like this right now. She knows that her day wraps up at a certain point in the day. And therefore, that is when her day ends. Now she can decide to come back and do more work and create more time for herself in her business in the evening if she wants. 
but I want to push you guys to really see what time constraints do you have from all of the external factors in your life. Okay? So now we've audited what we've done. We've really, really deeply evaluated what actions we spent time on and which ones of those actions, to the best of our ability, created revenue. Then we're looking at how much time is already kind of eliminated right off the calendar, right? It's booked up from other massive level priorities in our lives, not our business, just our lives. So we're just talking about our personal time. I want you to build that into your life. I want you to build that into your goals. I do not want anyone to email me and say, my goal when I did my time audit was that I need to work 55 hours a week in order to do my business. You can choose if you want to do that. But I'm going to push really hard if we have a conversation about the fact that it is not necessary to do that. And if it is not the life that you're trying to build for yourself, then let me help you work through how to get rid of some of that stuff or feeling the obligation of that stuff. So that's your exercise for today. I want you to really go through and do a time audit. Focus on your time. At the end of things, you should know what actions were creating income for you, how much time they were taking, and how much time you have available to build your business in 2022. And I look forward to talking to you about the next part of how to build your goal setting plan for 2022 in the next episode. Thanks for joining me today. Take care. Happy auditing. If today's topic is one you know you struggle with, I invite you to book a free profit call with me and share your struggles, your goals, and together we can decide how coaching with me could be the way to shift you into a profit maker. The best way to book this call is either go to Instagram at Samantha N. Varner, that's S-A-M-A-N-T-H-A-N-V-A-R-N-E-R, or go to https colon backslash backslash bit.ly backslash free profit call and book your call today and let's get you moving towards being a profit maker in your business. Thanks again for joining me, Samantha Varner, in this episode of She Needs Grit. Let's talk shop again soon. If you like this episode, hit follow, share with a friend, and leave me a five-star review in your podcast app. Every review means other gritty women just like you find the show and grow their profitable business today. I invite you to connect with me on Instagram at Samantha N. Varner, or just pop over to my site at shecollective.biz, and that's dot is with a Z or a Z if you happen to be in Canada. I'll be back next week with more so you can create confidence, clients, and cash in your business with simple strategy and none of the drama.